Aloha mai kako, my name is Ralph and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today we'll be making cream puffs. Now, I know cream puffs isn't a traditional Hawaiian recipe, but if you've ever been to Komodo Bakery on Maui, you know that they make the bomb cream puffs. And the name Komodo Bakery is synonymous for onolicious baked goods, especially cream puffs. So I thought I'd share with you my favorite cream puff recipe. Cream puffs are a pat -shoe shell. It's a universal dough that's used for a lot of different pastries. And then you fill it with pastry filling. You can use any flavor you like. I like vanilla, so that's what we'll be making today. So Helen Mike, come along and let's make some cream puffs. To a saucepan, add milk and vanilla extract. Stir it over medium to medium high heat just until the milk starts to simmer and remove from heat. Then to another bowl, add egg yolks, sugar, and baking powder. Whisk these up until well combined. Then you're going to slowly drizzle that warm milk mixture into the egg mix. You want to make sure you do this slowly. This is called tempering. You don't want to cook the eggs, so it brings the egg temperature up slowly. Mix until well combined. Then you're gonna pour that mixture back into the pot and place back on the heat and stir until thickened. Once thickened, you're gonna go ahead and run that through a strainer to get out all the extra lumps. Pastry filling is pretty thick, so you're going to have to use the spatula to push it through or you can use the whisk and then you're just going to use the spatula on the other side to scrape off the excess that came through. Then you're going to add the butter. It'll melt into the warm pastry cream. Mix until well combined. Then you're going to place plastic wrap directly onto the pastry filling to prevent a skin from forming and place this in the fridge to cool. While the pastry filling is cooling, you can make the shell. To a pot over medium-high heat, go ahead and add water, butter, sugar, and salt. Cook until the butter has melted and the sugar and salt have dissolved. Be sure to keep stirring so that the butter does not burn. Then you're going to add the, all of the flour to the mixture and stir that until well combined. You'll start to get a thick dough that'll form. You'll keep mixing it until you notice a little film develop on the bottom of the pan. That'll let you know it's done. Remove this from the heat and slowly add in an egg one at a time. It'll look like your dough is starting to separate. That's fine, that's normal. Continue mixing until it comes together. Once it comes together, then you're gonna go ahead and add the next egg in. Add your final egg and continue to stir until you get a thick batter. When it's done, it'll look like this. If you pull it up, it'll make thick ribbons as it falls from the spoon. Next, you're going to transfer the batter to a pastry bag fitted with a round tip. A little trick, you can stick the pastry bag into a cup and flip it over for easy filling. Fill the bag with all of the batter. Push the batter down to the bottom and squeeze out the extra air. Now you're going to pipe the pastry. On a baking sheet lined with a soap hat or parchment paper, you're going to begin making the rounds. You'll twist and flick your wrist at the end to make circle shapes. We'll fix the little tips at the end. Go ahead and pipe all of your cream puffs onto the baking dish. 
So as you can see, some of these have a tip. If you leave that tip on, it'll get burnt while baking. So you can dip your finger into some water and push the tips down so it has a little bit of a flatter top while baking. Then you're gonna bake at 400 degrees for 25 to 28 minutes or until golden brown. Once the shells are done, remove from the oven and allow to cool. Then you're gonna take the chilled pastry filling and you're gonna go ahead and put that into a pastry bag as well. You'll fit it with a little bit of a smaller round tip than you use to pipe the shells. Now it's time to fill the cream puffs. Use a knife to cut a little X in the bottom of the shells like this. You're gonna fill each pastry shell with the pastry filling. And enjoy. And that's how you make cream puffs. If you're a sweets fan, check out some of my other dessert recipes down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. And I post new videos every week. And until next time, ahoy ho! Thank you for watching my mom's video.